Welcome to reading my record news. I'm Renko Rosiel and our top story today. I'm working on a new setup in the background, but you know, that's for some other time. The point is, we have a bunch of new news that just dropped because we didn't actually get anything for like the last three or so weeks. At least nothing that I had to do news posts about. So, what do we actually have? First off, we have a new Kimochi announcement. The next Kimochi will be sometime in November. I think in the middle of November is what that says. And it will be forest type, that means you will be playing your fire characters. And also, uh, it will be the kind of Kimochi where you play Magia strategy, which is basically every Kimochi. Because it turns out at this point, Magia strategies are so powerful that even the current uh, Kim Kimochi, that by the time this news goes live, is about to time out, um, there was supposed to be a Charge Blast Kimochi with Dark type. But as I said in the news before then, uh, you probably are not going to play Charge in uh, that battle anyway because double strategies are so good and it turns out the Kimochi had a 200% damage down against a Magia, 200% Magia damage cut and it also buffed, uh, it buffed or debuffed itself rather with a damage taken increase from charge attacks or whatever so you're supposed to use your charge blast but even with those two uh, things even with charge attacks being buffed and even with Magia being down 200% people still played Magia strategies and it still dealt way more damage than Charge Blast. So Charge Blast is absolutely fucking dead. So yeah, the next Kimochi where you play your fire characters. Yeah, no more Charge Blast for fire either, unless of course in the future they rerun the old Charge Blast uh, fire Kimochi. But for now, fire characters are also going to be doing Magia strategy. And if only there was a really good fire Magia character that was about to be released. Maybe, maybe we are gonna see that. At the same time, there's going to be mirror ranking bags, where you can buy bags for paid gems. Don't actually do it though, these bags are kind of bad value. We also have reruns of the gachas from the other Halloweens so far. This is actually the Halloween announcement, in case you guys uh, aren't quite uh, aware of that yet. So we have a rerun of that one, we have a rerun of this one, more importantly. Uh, yeah, so... These are the actual individual gachas. We have a gacha that is shared between three characters, or like three units rather, which is Vampire Kanagi, which is uh, Non Momoko, and of course Alikari, the important one out of those. And then you also have individual reruns for Dark Mitama and for uh, Dark Kanagi, both extremely powerful characters, some of the best in the game, specifically Dark Mitama is incredibly powerful when it comes to ranked mirrors and ranked auto mirrors, while Dark Kanagi is extremely good at farming and normal mirrors. Um, really, really good at those st things. Now, keep in mind that they also added new memoria for these. So this memoria right here is new. It's Mitama about to disengage it to someone. And what it does, it's an active and it applies curse. And it applies curse again. And it does damage down. Sweet. Then the Dark Kanagi also has a new memoria, uh, which is deal. I think this is. Ignore damage cut? Yeah, this is ignore damage cut. Would have would have really needed this one before this Kimochi because one of the ways people were increasing the damage of Magia is to just bypass the Magia, bypass the Magia damage cut with ignore damage cut. So, you know, if we had this before then, people would have used it. But of course, we didn't. But yeah, this is that one. Chance to ignore damage cut and damage increase are those two. I kind of read that already, I don't know. More importantly though, as I said, new unit it's them it's the other gay people because you know they're yuna and Julio. or if you combine the two as a as a wise cow once said is yuri and they are vampire versions why are they vampire versions it's because it's a halloween version and they're sad about dead people that they've lost and the other time that we've had a halloween version about someone who was dead uh, who was sad about the dead people that they've lost it was Vampire Kanagi. So apparently if you're sad about your dead friends on Halloween, you become a vampire or something like that. I, I, I don't really know how that actually works. But, you know, they are a quadruple Excel disc unit, Magia type, because of course by now absolutely everything, everything forever will ever be just Magia type, just Magia, just Doppel, just Excel. Who cares about anything else really? Because even now during the Kimochi that was supposed to be Charge Blast, it was still Magia and Doppel. And even now, the next Kimochi that is supposed to be the Fire Kimochi, you know that used to be um, Charge Blast in the past. Now it's also Magia. So, yay. If you are someone who likes Charge, you gotta switch to Magia. I'm sorry. There's like no point in that anymore. So, what do they actually do? Their connect is 
Um, <coughs> it does damage up, it does flame attack up, and it does excel MP up. Awesome. Just basic stuff. Uh, more importantly though, because they're a Magia, a doppel unit, they're gonna uh, do the following with their Magia and their doppel. They're gonna do attribute strength and damage to uh, four random times. I think it might be, I think it's 500 times, maybe, on doppel. It also um, gives Magia damage up, flame attack up to all allies, right? This is, I need to be taking a look at this. So it's Magia damage up and flame attack up to all allies, as well as an additional flame attack up to self and an additional damage up to self. So they buff the entire team with Magia up and flame up and then additionally themselves with even more flame attack up and more damage up. For three turns on, Mag on double, it's gonna be five turns and you're always, always gonna use double, so it's always five turns. Uh, that you're gonna buff yourself for and also on doppel it also uh, restores some mp to self so you can get through doubles a lot more quickly and that is basically what you want with this kind of unit just spam doubles especially when they buff themselves so they really are the kind of shredder unit that gets hard that hits harder the more it doubles and it by restoring mp to itself is gonna be able to double really really fast just by itself and of course it has four excel it's like what else do you need with this unit what else do you need huh and they, they look fucking swag too. I mean, Judy has a remodeled vacuum cleaner. And Yuna has three horns because she probably has the third horn still underneath the cap, which is kind of weird. And there's way too many wings on Judy. Like, don't, don't worry about it. Um, more importantly, though, the SE active is basically the exact same SE active that uh, Yuna and um, the Dark Kanagi had, where you damage yourself for 80% of your max HP, and then you gain a barrier for 10,000, and you also gain crit a, 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 a two buffs for five turns. One of them increases your attack at critical HP by a lot. The other one increases your defense at critical HP by a lot. And you're gonna get both of these buffs to uh, do a shit ton of output uh, while you're critical HP, which you will of course be because you damage yourself for 80%. Awesome. Now we had this exact buff, like I said, already on other units. I think, did Kimochi Rabi also have that? I'm not harmless and certain, but we also already had this on other units and all these other units, they were charged blast characters or just blast characters. Uh, but this is, I think the first time we have a buff like this uh, on someone who is a double spammer. And the amount of damage you get from critical HP uh, attack up is kind of insane. So seeing that on what is going to be a doppel unit is going to be absolutely absurd. They're probably going to be the hardest hitting doppel unit in the game, at least when they attack um, into the forest units because they need to actually get the attribute strength from damage bonus from their doppel. What else do they get? They get the following. A whole bunch of really cool buffs. The first one is at the start of battle, you get flame attack up. Yeah, flame attack up to everyone actually. Flame attack up and damage up to everyone. Awesome. It's not that much. I think at least the damage up is only like 5%, but I think the flame attack up is like a decent amount. So yeah, if you're playing specifically a flame party, you buff yourself really hard, uh, like you buff the entire team pretty hard. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Give me that, give me more of that. You have mana spring up, which Basically just, once again, just shoots you uh, a little bit of MP. It's not going to be as much as some of the other MP units we've seen so far. I think it might only be like 50 MP or something that you're going to get uh, after the first turn. But even so, just the fact that you gain a buttload of MP at the start of battle by just existing is already really nice and kind of what you want from a double spam unit so that it like kickstarts itself basically. And if you take a look at the Excel discs that they have, four of them, you you're rather likely to get an Excel combo on turn one. And if you combine an Excel combo, like even if they only get one of those Excel discs together with the uh, Mana Spring, they're probably gonna be able to get to double extremely fast, maybe in like one or two turns. So that's pretty cool. And you know, their personal, maybe their personal is like something like Excel draw or just MP restore to self or some other crazy shit, I don't know. Probably just gonna be fire attack or something like that. Then we also have the last as you know that they showed off here, which is even more attack up at critical HP and even more defensive at critical HP. So yeah, you're gonna be having a crap ton of attack and defense, but the attack is the important part. So that's pretty cool. And by the way, in case you're wondering, but should you really get yourself to really low HP on a Kimochi? Like what if you die? But that's not gonna happen. Like during the current Kimochi, I played solo Dark Kanagi 
and so Dark Kanagi takes like 250 damage per hit, even at critical HP, or at, at least uh, uh, specifically at critical HP. Uh, and the berry lasts for like 10,000 damage, so yeah, you're not gonna, the barrier is not even gonna pop, and even if the barrier pops, it can't even scratch you, so the Kimochi is not gonna kill you, it's not gonna happen. So being at low HP is not a thing. Keep in mind, by the way, if you play this character, uh, this unit, don't get healed. If you do get healed, which a lot of characters do heal, uh, Madoka Zero, for example, heals on Magia and Doppel, but more importantly, um, she heals with her SE active, which also gives MP. And So if you want the MP from her SE active, you're gonna have to get healed and lose the buff from this thing. That's, that's pretty sad. Mm. What else do we have? We have, of course, the uh, Memoria, the other lower one doesn't matter, it's like attack up and a little bit of fire attack up, like whatever. And the other one is, I don't even think I've looked at that so far, it does damage increase, attack up, and defense down to target. So defense down to target is not that important, and the other one is just damage and attack up, it's fine. It's just pretty alright, I like I like offensive uh, Memoria, and it seems like they're actually cleaning up the town. And by the way, you can see in the background, that we are going to have more costumes, you know, costumes, we have one for Labby, where she's a rabbit, we have one for Ura, where she's a jester, which she already is without the costume anyway, and then we have Asahi, who might probably be like a necromancer or something like that, or a raven witch, something like that, that's pretty cool. Moving on though, Mirrorless Ranking, it's another auto battle ranking, I have an entire video on how auto battle rankings work, here's the second one, awesome, cool, nothing special except this time, Instead of just buffing the lesser elements, which is flame, uh, aqua, and forest, like they, they're getting buffed with more stats for this spe event specifically. But also during this event, dark units will deal less damage, which of course is because Akuma Homura is going to be an absolute pain in this event. And people are saying, me included, very much me included, that even with dark characters having their damage reduced specifically for this event, Akuma Homura might still be the number one threat out there because, you know, even with reduced damage, a turn one doppel is kind of crazy if someone builds their Akuma Homura for turn one doppel damage. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It might not even make the difference. Like, they might subtract 10,000 attack, like 10,000 entire attack from Akuma Homura for this event, and she might still one shot people turn one. So, we're gonna have to take a look at how that's gonna happen. So, that's gonna be fun. And the other thing is, of course, the Halloween event, because we need an event for Yuna and Julie. So once, like I said earlier, they're sad about the dead people in their lives, and apparently they're getting revived or something, like they're coming back, I don't know, for this event. We're going to take a look. I mean, Asahi is there. Asahi can talk to the dead because she's like a spirit medium, so I don't know. That might be interesting. And as I said, those three characters that I just mentioned, Urara, Rabi, and uh, Asahi, are getting Halloween costumes for this event. Awesome. Pick them up. And a cool Halloween background that actually looks really hot and spooky. Oh, spooky. Crazy. And yeah, that's about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's a subscribe button, ring the bell. I'll see you guys next time.